All right, Lions. Learning with the Lions here with Dr. Carol Walker uh, at St. Leo University. Uh, Lions, we're, we're here to talk uh, to Dr. Walker today about exactly what she does. Uh, but first, a brief introduction. Dr. Walker, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. How long have you been at St. Leo and, and, and what exactly do you do here? First of all, I joined St. Leo as a full-time faculty member at one of our centers in Ocala. So I have been a faculty member, um, chair of the education department, and currently my position at St. Leo is dean of the School of Education and Social Services, as well as, <laughs> here's the next question I know. That's, that's the next question coming up. <laughs> She's already going to des describe it to you. Um, the one thing you might see uh, on broadcast and, and, and then in different staff directories when you look around the NCAA is a position called the FAR, the Faculty Athletic Representative. And that's the reason why we sat down here today is to right. let all of you know what a faculty athletic representative or a FAR does for St. Leo University. So what is your role as a FAR? What do, what do you do? As FAR or faculty athletic representative, I really make sure that we coordinate with academics and with athletics to make sure that our student athletes are first of all students and that they're served. They, they have some special needs because of scheduling, games, um, and we wanna make sure that they are taken care of academically, that their academic needs are met. And that's really the focus of my job. So it kind of links the athletic side and the academic side. It's kind of a bridge between the two from, uh, for, uh, for the teachers and, and the student athletes to kind of, kind of have a connection in, in Dr. Walker. Um, the one thing that I, I did want to mention is, uh, you know, she, she said put the student athlete uh, in, in the academic side. Uh, we always write students before, you know, student comes before athletes, and that's, that's the way it is here at St. Leo for sure. Um, they, you are student athletes and, and students first. Um, and in that, in that aspect, uh, if they have a question or if they have problems, uh, what's the process? How do, how do they, how, who do they approach? How do they, who do they talk to if they have uh, problems on the academic side? Sometimes the student will first go to their coach or Vicki Fredrickson, um, who I coordinate with and, and meet with frequently, um, to, to see if there really is a problem. Uh, if it is a question or an attendance policy, then I am usually emailed. That's the process. The coach can email me, uh, Vicki can email me um, to say, I think we have an issue here, and then I'll investigate it. Sometimes it's related, again, to uh, students missing a game, students missing a test, I can help with proctoring a test. I can work with faculty to say, is it okay if the student takes the test early? They're not going to be in class on Friday. Whatever that needs to look like, that's my job, to be the person who will solve these problems. And again, they're academically related. All right, student athletes, you here. She's here to help you. That's that's the greatest thing about it. Is she is somebody you see the face to a name. Dr. Walker is here to, to help you with your any academic problems that you might have. Um, which brings up, you mentioned uh, Vicki Fredrickson, one of our associate athletic directors here at St. Leo. That brings up an interesting question. Who exactly does the FAR, specifically at St. Leo, uh, in your role, who do you answer to? I really answer to the president. I'm, I'm appointed by the president, Dr. Kirk, of St. Leo University, and I report directly to him. But I also work with the athletic department, especially with Vicki, who's in compliance. And that's a very important piece of who we are and what we do. And also um, the athletic director, uh, Mr. Reedy, he and I meet at least once a semester. Mm -hmm. And the president and I meet once a semester too to make sure we've got any issues resolved, that there's nothing that we need to address. And part of our conversation is this video that we're doing here today to make sure all students, uh, all student athletes, understand what the FARS position is and how I can help them. Very good, very good. Wonderful uh, to know uh, your line and, and who, who helps and, and how to help and, and if you need help. Uh, but the one thing that we haven't really touched on yet is we've, we've talked about the student athlete and the student and the academic side, but on the other side, if a faculty member has a problem, if a, if a staff member or a faculty member has a problem with, uh, with students and, and questions about maybe excessive missed class time or, or are these really trips that they're taking, um, who do the faculty members go to? And they come to me, and that's part of my job as well. Um, I have been visiting the school meetings at the beginning of the year and the middle of the year to tell all faculty if there is an issue please come to see me 
you know that's what I'm here for and I also send out the policy the absence policy for student athletes at least once a year usually twice a year so that everybody understands what that policy is um, really the concerns that we have have been minor simply misunderstandings and I'm usually the one to go to the faculty member to say um, this is the policy or can I help with these students and uh, let's have an understanding of how we can resolve this problem. That's my job. Okay, so we've talked about the faculty, we've talked about the student athletes, we've talked even about the president. Um, what are some what, what are some groups or, or advising groups in place here at St. Leo to help student athletes uh, should they run into any issues? We have one that is really very important. Um, I'm the chair of the Student Athlete Coordinating Committee and that is a large committee made up of the registrar's office, uh, faculty from every one of the schools, advisors, um, student success people. That committee meets at least once a semester and we talk about registration and making sure that our student athletes are usually registered first and get the advising that they need so they're not going to miss any classes but so they can get the labs that they need, the other courses which are critical to them earning their degree. And this committee is very helpful to organize that and to structure that process so we can meet the needs of our students. A lot of effort made into, into making sure those student athletes walk across that stage at the end of their degree and carry that diploma. That Absolutely. Is, a lot of effort goes into it. Um, and, and, and along with the effort uh, comes the reward. Uh, not only in the degree, but also in, in some various uh, uh, groups that we have uh, partnered with or we have joined with that uh, recognize successful student athletes in the classroom. Feel free to hit on uh, those, those two groups, I believe, uh, that yes. we have here at St. Leo. We have a national honor society here for student athletes that just started a couple of years ago, but it's very active and those students are selected. They have to write an essay. There, there's criteria that they have to meet before they are accepted into this national athletic honor society. And we are one of the few universities in the United States that uh, are a member of that society. Um, also, we have the President's Club, which is very prestigious. Right. That's for those student athletes who have a very, very high GPA. And the President has pulled those students together and they meet for lunch once in the spring and once in the fall. And we are extremely proud always. of them. Yes. Always, always proud of them. Uh, Dr. Walker, um, the faculty athletic representative, has taken time to sit down with us. Uh, before we close out here, uh, any, any final thoughts? Uh, if you'd like to speak directly to the student athletes, uh, reference uh, any questions, who they come see, and where you are. Please, I'm available. Uh, I'm here on campus. I'm in St. Ed's, room 310. And um, email me, usually if there's a question or a problem, email is the best way to get in touch with me, uh, carol.walker at stleo.edu. Um, that's the best form or the best way to contact me and I'll get back to you right away. Even if on, I'm on travel, I certainly will send an email back. And um, I appreciate the opportunity today to speak with you and to speak with you, our students. Um, we're looking forward to a great season, and all I can say is, go Lions! Go Lions. It's always a way to end it here. Um, we'll, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you, Dr. Walker, for taking the time sure. out. Uh, hopefully cleared up a couple questions as to what the FAR does in our academic pursuit here at St. Leo. So, Dr. Walker, thanks again. Thank and they you. know where to find you if they need you. Absolutely. All right, Lions fans, thank you very much. Thanks. And uh, go Lions as always.